burned down a church during the attack in Chang, which is a community in the country's southwest region. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but the Catholic Church authorities are clear ab about uh, who they believe is behind it. Archbishop Andrew Nkea is head of the Bamenda Ecclesiastical Province. On the evening of the 16th of September, some unknown gunmen who claim to be separatist fighters of the Amazonian forces went to St. Mary's Church, St. Mary's Parish in Chang, in Manfred Diocese. They set the church on fire and abducted uh, five priests, uh, one reverend sister and uh, the catechists and uh, two other lay people who were there. And they took them into the forest. That's exactly what happened. Uh, they set the church ablaze and they took the priests away and the, the religious and the other people into the forests. Do you have any idea, sir, why this St. Mary's Catholic Church in Ninchang, why it was targeted? Is there any significance to the church being um, attacked? I have really no idea, but you see, uh, those who abducted these people and uh, set the church ablaze, they are only asking for ransom. So it is very difficult to understand why they would take these people and are asking for ransom. Uh, you see, sometimes they are seeing the church as a soft target to be able to make money. But the church has no money to be paying ransom. And uh, that is the difficulty we have until now. So if I may um, check with you, uh, Your Grace, just to get confirmation, when you say they're now asking for ransom, is that the only demand that has been made of you as a church or that has been made uh, to the authorities when these abductors have got in contact? Since they got in contact with us, they are only asking for money. There is no other uh, accusation that they are living against the church or these people. That is all they are asking for. They, they are claiming that the church has not been supporting the struggle for independence by the separatist fighters, and so they want money. That is all that uh, is coming through. And I wouldn't understand why anybody whatsoever would go and burn the church. How much are they asking of, of the Catholic Church in terms of this ransom? How much money, if you could say in dollars, are the equivalent? They are demanding $100,000, and they have been arguing and coming down until they are somewhere now around $50,000, but we just don't have $1 to pay for this kind of thing because uh, we are setting as precedents that we can never, ever continue. What are your fears if then you cannot pay the money? I don't know if they've given you a time, uh, an ultimatum by which this money should be paid. What are your fears if you can't hand over anything to them? I cannot express uh, particularly what the, any fears now uh, because this is not the first time they are doing this. And we have tried to explain to all those who have always tried to abduct the ministers of the church that the church cannot be paying ransom uh, to separatist fighters or to criminals. So that is where we stand. We don't know exactly what will happen, but we just have to stand on our grounds because we cannot do what will never continue. Archbishop, I, no doubt you're having to reassure worshippers for the Catholic Church. What are you telling them? I am telling the worshippers that uh, this is a part of the trials and difficulties that the Church of this century has to go through. And we must be able to stand firm on our faith and stand firm amidst these trials. We must not give in to the devil. The devil is a liar and the devil can never win. So we cannot give in to fears and give in to pressure from this kind of forces. We must continue to forge ahead in prayer and uh, standing strong in faith and in unity. And that faith no doubt has sustained you during the period of this war now into its sixth year. What are your hopes and your desires or your belief that could bring this war that you've seen, you know, at first hand, ravage this nation, what do you think could bring it to an end? First and foremost, I think we have gone already a long way. Where we are now is not where we were uh, three, four years ago. A few more children are going to school, a few more shops are opening, a few more people are returning. But the main problem remains unsolved. And uh, the problem is that uh, these people who are clamoring for their independence over whatever they want because all this fighting and the population is suffering. The population is suffering tremendously. 
but they must be able to dialogue. And that's why we are telling those who are using the armed method to solve this conflict that war will never solve the problem. Archbishop Anjun Kea, head of the Bamenda Ecclesiastical Province in Cameroon.